you have installed your PE Design 11, but where did it go? The program went directly into the program files on your hard drive that has x86. In that program, it went into a file folder called Brother. And from there, it went into PE Design 11. In there, you will notice that there are applications. There's the database. The program that you'll be most familiar with has the flower. Uh, one for creating fonts, one for drawing from a picture, and one for creating some designs that you can use within the actual digitizing program. Also notice that there is a file folder here called Manual, and in the PDF section of that one, you will find the instruction manual that you can go ahead and print out exactly as you want. You could take this file to a print shop and they could print and bind you a book. Uh, or you can use the one that's built into the program that goes directly online and is always the most up-to-date program. The installation also creates a file folder for you to store designs in. It's on your drive under Users. If you're the owner, probably the owner, and under Documents, and in Documents you will see it created a folder PE Design 11, which comes already with the reference guide, a sample, and a tutorial. So here's the reference guide actually has some designs already in it, and if you clicked on one, it would actually open it up in the program. And so here is the design. I believe that they have some tutorials that use this, but let's close back out of that. That is one way to open up your program and just take the design and it will be uploaded. It has some samples. So Design Center, these are some tutorials you'll do. And it has the actual tutorials here in line that you can go through and learn a lot about the program yourself. Up here in my desktop, I have the PE Design icon. Two more programs are, that are included in PE Design and the folder that I have created for my PE design is to be stored in. Let's open the program. And as it opens, you'll notice this wizard. And one of the important things on this wizard is to start design database. Let's open that and take a look. So the first thing is it can open all the file folders on your computer and it will go to what you were recently. Here I have PE Design data. I can plus that and then you see inside all of the file folders I have created in the PE Design. Everything named from uh, names of companies I buy from to types of things I have, uh, but I have hundreds of designs because I've been collecting them for over 20 years. But I put a number one in front of the need a good design because that's what I use most often and when I open the plus you'll see many of the names with that. I have put all their lace and their quilt with the number one in front so that I can find them more quickly than going through all of them. Or here are the all access. Let's look at the 2020. So I have them by each month. Open this November and you'll see I have, uh, let's go to the quilts on a clothesline. I have them sorted into PEZ files and commercial files. I didn't save any of the others. So I'm going to open the PEZ file and there I have them sorted by the size they are going to open the A clothesline. 
and it's opened up so I can see uh, icons of this. I could click on one of these and it would open up the program to work on that. I can look at these in smaller icons. Uh, go back to the bigger. As long as I don't have anything specifically set on here, I can go to uh, print. I'll go to print preview and it would populate a page of these designs that I could print and keep in a ring binder. I can also take all of these, select the whole works. I better find the right thumb drive here. I've got this thumb drive. Hit here and now all of those designs are on my thumb drive. If I want to take it to my machine or if I don't want to take them I can trash them and they're out of my thumb drive but they're still here. So that's the database. Play with it. It's will show icons even of uh, embroidery files that are not PEZ.